Hello and Namaste. Welcome to a new episode of Pod's Pop-Up Studio. This video is a continuation of our Moving to Finland series. Today, I'll be talking about the documentation you are required to attach with your residence permit application for studies. If you need information about different ways to migrate to Finland, check our previous videos. You'll find specific information about studying or working in Finland. Do subscribe to Pod's Pop-Up Studio for more videos like this. Congratulations to you if you have been selected in a university or a college. You must have already gotten an admission letter from the institution you have applied to. Your dream is finally taking shape. Give a pat on your back. Yes, you deserve it. You painstakingly searched for the universities, researched the degree programs, applied to them. Maybe some of you have applied to many of them, wrote motivational letter, took the test and then got selected. Your next step will be applying for a residence permit. Make sure you have all the documents required and you meet the general requirements for entry into Finland before you apply for the visa. The general entry requirements are you have a valid passport, you are not prohibited to enter Finland or the Schengen area, you are not a threat to public health, public security or Finland's international relations. Whether you'll get a positive or a negative decision on your residence permit application very much depends on the documents you submit. Therefore, collecting all the necessary documents needs a careful consideration and a lot of hard work. This is a very important stage in the whole process of a journey abroad. After all, you can proceed to it only when you are granted a residence permit. Now, this brings us to the major question. What documents do you need to submit along with your residence permit application? I'll categorize the documents into three types so that it's easier and less confusing that way. Type number one, your personal documents or general attachments. You'll need a photograph, a passport size photograph. Check the link in the description box for the photo guidelines in the immigration website. Photocopies of your passport's main page as well as all other pages that contain notes. And of course, the passport needs to be valid. If you are applying from a country other than your home country, then you must also submit a document that you are legally staying in a country where you submit the application. For example, a visa. Let's say you are applying from Denmark or Dubai. Then you'll need to uh, attach a photocopy of your visa there. Copies of your educational certificates, work experience letters if you have, and IELTS certificate if your university or college required it. Then you need a relationship verification certificate with your sponsors. They are usually your parents, grandparents, spouse or close relatives. This can be made in your local municipal office where a permanent address is. Municipality office in cities and in villages I think it's a rural municipality office nowadays. Previously it was village development committee office. Second category of documents include application specific attachments such as your offer letter from the university. It is also called Certificate of Acceptance or Letter of Attendance. It is the document that your university or college in Finland has sent to you after being selected. If you are required to pay fees for your studies, you need to attach the receipt of the paid fees. Of course, your sponsor can also pay the fees on your behalf, but the receipt should be attached, whoever pays the fees. In order to pay tuition fees from Nepal, banks can do that for you. Then you need a health insurance certificate. As a student, you must purchase a health insurance covering your medical and health expenses in Finland. You can buy the insurance policy from local companies in Nepal or from international companies. Please check more info about the health insurance in the link in the description box below. The third category of documents are documents related to funds or clarification of income. The income related documents are very very important. That's why I wanted to discuss about these documents separately. Among all the negative decisions made, you might be surprised that most of them, over 90% are because of inadequate funds or lack of sufficient documents which prove the source of your income. You must pay great attention regarding the papers in relation to the funds you have. A student must have a total of 6720 euros apart from tuition fees in his or her own bank account ready and transferable to Finland. That is the amount you will need to cover your living in Finland for one academic year. The money must be in your own bank account. Then you'll have to show the source of the income. The money must be in your own bank account. Then you'll have to show the source of the income. You can receive the money from your parents, spouse or siblings. 
but then that person is considered as your sponsor and you'll need to show the source of their funds as well attach a bank statement of your account where you have at least 6720 euros the statement must show all the transactions bank certificate stating the amount of money is optional but the bank statement is a must so first your bank account statement and then your sponsor's bank statement if the account has bigger transactions let's say above 500 euros the immigration will ask for clarification about where or for what purpose the money has been used or where has it come from you'll be asked about that in the interview the money usually students have come from their parents or close relatives then the immigration asks for statements from their bank account as well the source of funds can be salary rent from land or housing business agricultural products shares anything that generates money the only thing is you need to have documents to prove that the money has come from legal means and that it is at your disposal that means you own the money and can use it independently if the money is collected from the sale of land you need to show the proof papers receipt or whatever is there if it comes from your salary or the salary of your sponsor and is also collected for a long period of time you need to show salary slips job contract paper or work certificates if it comes from agricultural products like crops vegetables or animal farm you must submit copies of certificates of land for example copies of the red book the lal purza tax clearance certificate at the municipality the documents which are in nepali must be translated into english and certified by a notary public if it is from rent attach the rental agreement with your tenants if the source of income is your parents pension you need to submit the copies and translation of the pension book or pension patta let's say your relatives may send you money from abroad in this case that person will be your sponsor and then you'll need to show the source of that money how he gets the money is it from employment is it from business or any other means salary slips job contract paper if it is from salary or the papers from the accountant or the monthly sales report or or so anything if it is from the business the municipality office will make a document of valuation of your or your parents property they will also make tax clearance paper once you have paid the taxes you'll need to show that you or your parents have yearly source of income sufficient enough to cover your fees and your expenses during your study in finland and then your family also have their own expense in in nepal there immigration officers will analyze your financial situation on the basis of your yearly income this is to ensure that you or your parents are financially capable enough of sending you abroad for studies so basically all it means is you will need to prove the source of the funds you have those documents that are in nepali must be translated to english and then notarized by a notary public in many cases they even ask for the copy of the original documents that means if you are showing income from the land then take a photocopy of your red book the lal purza and then translate it into english and notarize it then submit both the translation and the photocopy if you are sending electronic application via enter finland you will need all of these documents in digital formats you can either scan your documents or take clear photographs with your mobile phone the finnish embassy in nepal will require you to bring all original as well as photocopies of these documents during your interview even though you have submitted an electronic application no need to worry they will send you a list of all the documents you need to take with you to the interview in an email once you have booked your appointment the more precise and updated your documents are the higher your chance is to get a quicker decision and positive decision too i have heard people complaining about the delay in decision for several months and that's mostly due to missing documents see it goes like this once you submit your application it will wait for processing and when they begin to process your documents at the immigration office if your documents are sufficient they will give a decision right away job done but if they need more clarification to that if they feel the information provided is insufficient they'll ask for explanation or for more documents then they will keep the file aside the file awaits there this will definitely prolong the time of processing you might have heard this saying well begun is half done so give ample time to prepare your documentation 
fill in your application and book an appointment at a Finnish embassy or a service point near you for an interview. Let me remind you this, if you submit an electronic application, it will be 100 euro cheaper and the processing time is lesser. You can also follow your application in Enter Finland online from the comfort of your home. Whichever way you go, I wish you all the very best. Our next video will perhaps be about the visa interview, interview questions and all. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to Parts Pop-Up Studio for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it among your friends. I'll see you in a new video. Take care.